How do you do to you and you? It's me, it's me, it's Thomas T. <laughs> Sorry, that was from Andy Griffith. This is Phil again for Replicas of the Past. Going to take a look at this guy I just got this week. It's a uh, 60th anniversary Alice Chalmers D21, but it's an industrial. It is yellow. Um, I got it off eBay. I did pay a little bit more than it's finally shown up on uh, Wendy Hills Farm Toys. It's, it's on Dalton Farm Toys and it's on Outback Toys now uh, as of today. Um, I did pay a little more than what they're listed on there, but it didn't really bother me because I really wanted this tractor and I didn't pre-order it, so I'm glad I've got one. Box is pretty nice. Plastic sleeve in there to hold the tractor. Alice Chalmers D21, Alice Chalmers Classic Logo, 60th Anniversary Prestige Collection. Tractor is nicely dressed up. Back of the box it says turbocharged industrial tractor, 116 max drawbar horsepower, 15,261 pounds max drawbar pull. Alice Chalmers Series 2 D21. Optional equipment, the front weights, the wheel weights. Nice information there on the box about all that and that is items. If you wanted to add them, I guess, to the actual tractor. Some information here on the end of the box. I'll compare that with tractordata.com here in a minute, but it says original price of $5,700. Of course, this is a 2023 brand new release. All right, we'll move on to the start of the show, the 116 scale Alice Chalmers D21. All right, everyone, I'm back. Here it is, the Ertl 116 scale Alice Chalmers D21 Series 2, according to this box. Prestige Collection, 60th anniversary, just released or within like the last month, probably. It's a really awesome tractor, this here. If anybody knows me, is my favorite Alice Chalmers tractor of all time. I love all the old Alice Chalmers, to be honest, but the uh, this is my favorite one. In particular, if I was picking one model from the whole Alice Chalmers catalog, this is the one I would pick, the D21. Um, followed closely by the 220, and then the 7000 series. All the old Alice Chalmers designs were great, I thought. They were all box style design, of course, from that era. And they were really, really nicely done tractors, I thought. And this was really the first, to me, muscle tractor that Alice Chalmers did. It was part of the D series. It had like a D10. It went all the way up to a D21, of course. But all the ones underneath this were more smaller type tractors. This was the big, their first big 100 horsepower big farm tractor you could in my opinion you could say and then what information i've gathered that's the case if you look on classic tractor fever youtube page youtube channel there's a video on one of these an industrial and they really captured it really well with this replica i thought as far as that real tractor does go from tractordata.com, Alice Chalmers D21, produced between 1963 through 69. Hold on, let me look up. Because it says Series 2. Okay, Alice Chalmers D21 Series 2, 1963 through 69. D series row crop tractor. The next tractor in the next series that's comparable to this is the 220, according to this. Manufactured by Alice Chalmers in West Alice, Wisconsin. 2,409 built. Original price was $10,500 in 1969. It says the upgraded D21 Series 2 began at serial number 2201. In 1965, PTO tested says 127.7, drawbar tested 116.41. And there's a picture of a Alice D21 on there. 
So this box did say 116 max draw bar horsepower. And it does say Series 2. So I'm guessing this one is a Series 2. It's a really classic tractor. I love these old D21s. Really the, the first muscle tractor by Alice Chalmers for sure. I mean, if you look at the thing, it looks like it pulled a deep-rooted tree out of the ground. <laughs> deep-rooted tree out of the ground. It just looks like a bulldog looking type puller to me. It's really, really cool tractor. I think Alice Chalmers was great. I just, it was a pity to see him go, I guess, in the 80s because of all the hard hit farming industry but uh there's still some diehard alice chalmers fans out there they have that orange spectacular every year and one of these date years i'd love to go to that it'd be really cool to see that this thing's really well done really nicely done captured by ertl you can see from the rear end fuel tank here i'm guessing Lights on the fenders, operator station, really nicely captured. Nice flat box style design hood and muffler intake. Decaling looks good. It says it does say series two turbocharged diesel right there. Alice Thomas D21 industrial right here on this metal plate up by the grill. Of course your engines details is nicely done on either side. Looks good, I think. Tires, of course, rubber. They're on correctly, Ertl. Good job. Nice weights in the rear tires. It's really just a nicely captured, uh, nice slab weights on the front. Really nicely captured uh, replica here by uh, Ertl. 60th anniversary. I'll do a quick comparison and let's move on to that right now. All right, everyone, here is my D21 Industrial alongside my other D21 from like 2019, 2020 time frame, but made by uh, Ertl as well. That one's a Series 2 as well. There's a video on my channel in my archive on that one. I've had that for whenever it came out a couple three years ago all right i'll move on to some final thoughts let's do that now all right everyone Ertl 116 scale alice chalmers d21 series 2 industrial version really cool unique looking d21 because of the industrial the yellow the state yellow paint pretty pretty cool pretty classic tractor Really nicely captured um, details on it, I think. Prestige collection, like I said, they are available on Outback, on uh, Dalton Farm Toys, on Windy Hill Farm Toys. They're, all those sites have them, so. Really neat uh, collectible here. All right, everyone, I'll close out my video. I want to thank everyone who always tunes in. This is Phil for Replicas of the Past. Y'all have a blessed day. We'll talk again soon.